play for about an hour as an intro on the gig. Got my vape, got my vape again, my Liasmo F4 with a, a Aroma Miser Titan on top. Can't game without vape, man. If you don't have vape, how are you gonna game? Doesn't work. Okay, so I got I got the Elgato capture dialed in. I moved I moved the webcam, so I I guess during commentary it's it's nicer to be able to see the person's face. Otherwise, I shut it off. Um, I don't need to have my face on that video. Um, but most people do it, and it, it's actually more comfortable to listen to if you can see the guy's face. I so I don't mind it. Um, so I'll just leave it. I just moved it over up into the right so everyone can see my my stats down in the corner. I'm gonna quickly check it. No, no, I'm not gonna check. I'm just gonna assume that it's it's running perfect. Um, what we're gonna do today is because <clears throat> I don't know everything about the game. I think every day they have different um, different items and this sort of thing that come out. So let's just check them and check them now. Yeah. So today they have different items than they had yesterday. Um, they have a really cool kind of uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Viking axe, right? <laughs> uh, they have different outfits. Yeah. They have a, a stealth glider. Um, see if so. I did progress a little bit. I'm just gonna change my glider to that one. Good. Um, and I'm gonna use Chrome. It's new. People will want to see it, so I'm gonna use the Chrome Girl as a. Yeah, we're gonna use the Chrome Girl. You gotta double click. So, I'm just changing how I look slightly. Uh, there's one or two controls I'm going to adjust. Okay. Did some research online. And let me just see her. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave her the same. Okay, that, yeah, that actually looks slightly better. For a backpack, which is fine. So we're going to leave that. My career, let's see my uh, progress. Okay, slightly better than yesterday. I want to see the store. Is there new stuff in the store? Not really. Go to the lobby, battle pass. So I haven't really progressed majorly. Only one, one level in yesterday's, uh, what was it, four or five rounds. In two of them, I got killed right away um, by 10-year-olds. I did do research. Before we start, I do want to mention, I did do research into the aimbot. On this game let's go and take a look at it here um, there is an option for aim assist somewhere around here where is it aim assist there it is and it, it's on right uh, it doesn't matter on a PC it could say on here it's definitely not on PC gamers do not get aim assist makes the game very difficult but uh, I was researching one thing I got a guy we're going to go 25. A PC gamer came in and said, I'm going to make those slight adjustments. Okay. Uh, so 0 0.25, 0 0.25 on both axis for my mouse. Maybe that will help me aim better. If not, I'll drop it down five on each. These are the settings they're saying. Uh, should, should help a bit. Um, we'll see. Uh, like I said, there's no aim assist if you're using a keyboard and a mouse. But here at the gig, we have a way around that, and we found a way around that. So for this, these intro rounds to Fortnite, and so uh, viewers can see my progress in Fortnite, coming as a hardcore FPS gamer into Fortnite. Save. Into Fortnite. So it's two different worlds. And I was reading on forums, I was doing research about uh, the, the firefights do not go well for PC gamers because they do not have aim assist. Some of the guys that were just testing the aim assist and how effective it was were some hardcore PC gamers like myself. 
And how they tested it is they took a extra Xbox controller and they plugged it into their PC just to see how effective the the aim assist is. It's an aim bot. That's how effective it is. It's very fast. This guy uh, with you know a mediocre gun got seven, eight headshots in a row. Some of these guys are getting 20 kills in a row. They do not miss a shot. That's how effective it is. Not only does it take the reticle from your player and train it onto the target, it's very easy to get it to train onto the head. All you do is you move it up slightly, and you're, it's headshot every time. Headshot city. Uh, very easy. Now, I'm not going to begrudge anyone for using, using the... Uh, the aim assist in this game because the following in this game is huge like they got millions and millions and millions of people playing it it's no problem to get a hundred people in a game within 10 seconds that's how many people are in the lobby and there's a lot of little kids that play it and i think they have a lot of fun playing it. uh listening to the amount of squaring they're doing i think they're getting very excited uh, i mean i'm not going to turn on their mics because uh they do so much squaring in the game i just can't handle it so that won't be part of the video uh, I'm not turning on the mic so you can hear some of these kids maybe later I will but oh my god wow adults do not swear even close to that much so we're gonna play again for a few hours while I vape we're gonna play the game and and I'm not playing with aim assist yet however we are the gig and we do all things tech so after this round of games, you're going to see my progression. Hopefully, what, what I'm going to try and do today, if I can, and I'm going to record the whole thing, basically unedited, is I'm going to try to go from level 10 to level 20. I want to see how long it takes, and you'll be able to see how long that takes from, from viewing the video. Um, so we're going to make a nice, really long video. It's not going to be a half an hour or a one hour intro. I'm going to record my entire game progression. So I'm not really a noob. I'm a rookie now. The controls are still iffy, and I do not have aim assist. So we're going to see how it goes. Then the next round of recording I'll do in a few days. I'll come into the game again, same tune and everything, and I am going to have aim assist on the PC. So I will have aim assist with a mouse, which is what all the console guys fear, a PC guy with aim assist because they know it's going to happen. So what happens is um, uh, the PC guys have been playing so long and the amount of control you get with a keyboard and mouse is, is you know, hundreds of times better than you would get with a noob stick or a paddle, the controller, right, and the noob stick. Now, just to lead into what I'm talking about, because you're going to see me getting slaughtered in pretty much every firefight. I did make some mouse adjustments. I don't think they'll, they'll work very well. <laughs> they, they will help, I'm sure. But I had a roommate and a friend back, you know, 20 years ago. And just to give an example of how good some of these PC gamer guys are, his online game uh, was Quake 3 Arena Instagib. His online handle, I'm not going to use his real name, obviously, I wouldn't do that. But his online persona or name, his handle, his tag, was Y2K, Y2 Korok. And I would never tell him this to his face, but he was one of the most amazing first-person shooter players I have ever met in my life. And obviously, he didn't cheat, because I know he was my roommate. Um, but his setup was, was, and he had a configuration file for, for, for Quake, and his setup was, uh, you know, uh, very specific on how things were set up. He had his mouse pad, like, duct tape to his desk and he had it right next to his keyboard and he was unbelievable i wouldn't tell him that because he was such an ego maniac about the game <laughs> but he I, I really admired how how well he played any fps especially quake 3 arena instagram he was a master of this so he was one of the best fps players i ever met and if if he was to be in this game for example, a player like that, I'm sure he's kept up with gaming too. So he's been gaming for 25 years like me. I mean, we used to dial into each other's computer with 33K modems. 56K wasn't even out. 33 baud modems. We'd dial into each other's computer to play FPS against each other. We didn't even have TCP IP back then. 
It was IPX SPX. <laughs> no, no IP TCP IP. And that's how long he's been gaming. So if a guy like that, Y2K from Quake 3 Arena, gets a hold of a game like this, and he has an aimbot, we're talking a god, a god of gods. I mean, no one in this, this game will survive. <laughs> so there's a lot of kids that play this game. Yeah. And that's why they have the aim assist. So I'm not going to begrudge the game developers for doing that and giving the console guys their aim assist because they need it, right? They haven't, haven't been playing for 25 years. Uh, so, so with little kids, uh, there's, there's eight, nine, 10 years old, 11 years old, and they're really having a lot of fun at this game. And I have, a, I have a daughter, so if she was going to play a game, I would want her to have a lot of fun. So I'm not going to begrudge the aim assist for the developers on this game. I am going to play it out, and I'm going to let you see. I'm, I'm going to try and survive. So I'm going to play a survival strategy where I try to get to the middle. Of, I'm going to collect as much material as I can. I'm going to collect as much guns and ammo as I can. But really what I'm going to do is I'm going to play survival mode where I try to go in to the center of the storm every time and survive as long as I can. Um, the firefights, I will not win. Not against someone with an aimbot. Uh, aimbot, aim assist, they call it. It's an aimbot. And some of these videos, you can YouTube it. Um, it's just incredible um, how, how, how good it is <laughs> compared to not having it and having it. A couple guys have done videos of that, and it's insane. Um, and for little kids, if, if say my daughter or was playing this game and she wanted to enjoy, I would want her to have an aimbot just so she would enjoy it. Right. And that's, what's actually happening. A lot of these players are kids and they want to really enjoy the game and the developers want the kids to enjoy the game. So you can see that the game isn't violent. There's no blood. Um, it's just a game of, and, and you shoot people and, and uh, you use an aimbot so everyone, you know, can have a really good time. So <laughs> I'm not going to begrudge the aimbot in, but I am going to go into a game now and I'm going to I'm going to see if my strategy works. I'm going to see how well I can do by by playing a survival mode, not an offensive. I'm going to shoot everyone because I simply can't do that. I will try, but let's see how it goes. OK, first match of the day. Got my vape. Got my vape. Need my vape. Have my coffee, yeah. Okay, here we go. So when I'm playing, I stare up here at my big screen. I have two screens, my, my laptop where my, my webcam is, and then I have my play screen, which is a 70 inch up here. That's why I'm always looking up when you see me playing. Okay, here's our bus. I'm gonna stay, stay away from everybody and try and play survival for a few hours. And we're gonna see how it goes and see how my game progress uh, works. Okay, it looks like uh, most of the guys will get out early. I'm going to wait until the very end because I'm not actually playing with my team. I'm not coordinating. So here we go. I don't think there's anyone left in the bus. I'm out. Okay. We need a weapon. Priority one, get a weapon. I think I can see where I can easily get a weapon. Right there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, I can see a chest. So I'm going to get a weapon. Two chests. Okay. This should be better. And we're going to see if those uh, mouse sensitivity changes I made. Okay. And I've moved the webcam so you can see my weapons, item, and ammo. We're on the last video. You couldn't see that. So, not bad. 
Okay, let's check the storm because we're playing survival mode. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep heading that way towards my team. Yeah. Oh, okay, so portals. Let's try a portal to get down from here. Okay. Yeah, so they got portals to help you get down from there. Kind of convenient. Uh, submachine gun there are bonuses out right now for getting submachine gun kills so I'll try and use that got an ammo crate okay as I'm I'm traveling I'm going to start collecting materials you must do that if I'm gonna ford up at the end for survival purposes I need building material And fortunately, there's no one around, no 10 years or 10 year old, 10 years, 10 year olds around with their aimbots to kill me. So that's awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've done the research for hours and hours after I played yesterday. Yeah, you're not going to win a firefight without an aimbot against people with aimbots. It's just not going to happen. Get a bit of steel, see how easy it is. Maybe it's hard, maybe it's easy. Okay, that's actually quite a bit of steel. Not bad. We got some stone. In the small time I've been playing, almost half the players have been eliminated. That's how fast this game moves. A little bit more, a little bit more wood. Let's do a map check so you can see where I am. Yeah, I'm just going to keep heading that way. Try to avoid 10-year-olds. <laughs> so there's a marker set up. See that red thing? I think my team set that up. That's where they want us to go. Now, if I have an aimbot, this is actually a really good weapon for an aimbot. It's a one shot, one kill gun. For aimbots only. Not for uh, people without aimbots. Not for PC guys. I was watching one video. The guy was actually pretty funny. He says the master race and gaming are PCs. So that's why they nerf the PC. The PC gamers. They nerf them by giving the consoles an advantage. Um, I think they've gone too far with the aimbot where they haven't just given them an advantage, they gave them a clear win. Okay, so. I don't know what that is. This is a, uh, let's go for it. Wow. Okay, I never had one of those before. When I get one again, I know what it does now. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Let's check the storm. Yeah, we're going in the right way. We're going the right way. Essentially, if I come across anyone, I really, I really almost can't defend myself without an aim, aim assist. I watched some of the videos on YouTube. It's ridiculous how well it works. And especially with the PC gamer, <laughs> and you give them a, a aimbot like that, it's wow. Okay. Yep, two of our guys are in red. They're dead. So I basically have no team. There's only two, one left, okay? I'm going to play the middle. I'm going to try and survive, which means hide until the very end. Maybe I can get a cheap win. <laughs> I'm hoping for a cheap win.
Okay, this is my best weapon. It's yeah, I'm gonna hang out here, man. Okay, remember we're in survival mode, right? Um, and I'm right around the middle. As the map gets smaller, okay, I'm gonna wait them out as to get a higher placement. As the map gets smaller, they'll be fighting in here more and more. So I'm just gonna find a place to hide. Okay, so fighting is out of the question. Building I can do. But fighting is definitely out of the question. Without um, like going offensive, without that aimbot um, in the forums and guys on YouTube are saying, yeah, it's why bother? Right? So we're going to have it. We're gonna hide right here. Pretty good hiding spot. Uh, and we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll have a vape in our hiding spot. Where's the edge of the storm? Okay, I gotta move. This is not gonna be the center. The center has moved. I'm gonna move further this way. Okay, so I fell off. I didn't take any damage, but I fell off my own my own stairs I built. There we go. We got a minute thirty-eight to find the center. Really cool feature of the game is the building. I must say, it's really cool. You never really stuck. So let's check. Yeah. Yeah, I'm being fired on. Yeah. Wow. They never miss. Guys, they never miss. As soon as they get a beat on you, one or two shots, they're pretty much all headshots from my experience. Okay, let's try again. Notice I was just trying to evade, just trying to get away. That's all you can do. You might hit him once or twice. Yeah. What I should have done is gone through that door and then built a wall over it and then try to wall myself in inside that building. Try to deplete his ammo. And then in a close quarters, I do have a much better chance of, you know, killing him without a name bot in close quarters like that. So that's what I should have done. I'm just learning the game. I'm trying to progress through the game. You guys can watch the videos. See how it goes for a hardcore PC gamer in Fortnite. See how it goes. We're about to go in. Need a bait. Okay, this is our Fortnite series on how a hardcore 25-year veteran of PC FPS gaming handles Fortnite without an aim assist. So essentially there's no fighting, it's more of a survival strategy.
I am going to jump out soon. Right now. Okay, so again, let's get our gun. Looks like we got some houses over here, some structures I can land on. A house would be perfect. Okay, there should be something in here. I don't know the map, you know, so I'm just guessing. Right here. Two houses. I'll get the... Uh, I'll get the gold chest from both houses, see how it goes. Nice. Okay, we got a gun right away. Where's the gold chest? No gold chest? Wow. Okay. Let's go to the other building. Hopefully we get a gold chest. It looks like someone has been here, but they haven't. I can hear the gold chest. You hear that noise? That Sounds like sparkles. That's the gold chest, yeah? Got some material. It's upstairs, no doubt. Oh. There it is. Okay. We got a decent machine gun and lots of ammo. Uh, here's our shield potion. My backpack's full. I will trade it for this. And I will use it. There. Okay, grab our grenades again and we're out of here, man. Get some building material. Another chest. Awesome. Should give me another 50% shield. And I got a grenade launcher, which I'm grabbing now. Grenade launchers are a very good end game item because when everyone starts forting up, you can destroy their forts with it. Okay, we're gonna check our storm cloud. We have lots of building material. I'm going to take off in a minute. Three hundred, four hundred. Okay, so I don't want to spend any more time gathering building materials. I'm just going to start heading into the zone so I don't get caught in the storm. Looks like a, at least a few of my team members are still alive. So let's take a look. Yeah, uh, next to the storm, I'm going to start sent, heading to the center. Lots of building materials, lots of ammo, lots of weapons. Okay, full shields, four how. So this is looking pretty good. Now, beware of 10-year-olds. That sound is the storm coming in. I'm almost there. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, I'm there. I'm inside. Good. Okay, so we built the plateaus like stairs so we don't take falling damage. Okay, start heading into the center. 
Um, only 43 players left. So in that short time, again, half the players are gone. So I think most of the big battles are when these guys land. They just go at it, you know. Check. Yeah, we go straight. I think we're in good shape. You can actually get in. Oh, look. I think these count for my rocket launcher. Yep, that's rocket launcher ammo or RPG ammo. Um, you can actually get in these and drive them. I'm not doing that now because I don't want to get spotted. I'm playing survival mode, don't forget. Watch out for 10 year olds. <laughs> Avoid 10 year olds here. They're very deadly. <laughs> okay, yeah. Trying to guess, okay, my entire team's dead. There's 38 people left in the game. My whole team is dead. So I'm gonna guess where I think the center of the storm will be. And I am gonna hide. <laughs> I'm gonna hide near the center and try to survive on my wits. <laughs> because, uh, my guns won't help me. <laughs> it is ridiculous how um, unbalanced the game is. But little kids uh, play the game, and that's cool. I think I can hear the storm coming in. Or those are rockets going off. In fact, I think that's what they are. Someone's firing a rocket launcher. Not at me, thank God. But I can hear the rounds. And there's people over there. Okay. Whoops. I am actually near the center. Okay, so that's how you're, um, I had to drop on that guy. If I had an aimbot, he was dead. In fact, I had him almost dead there. And it was a team, so it was a couple guys. But I had to drop on them. I should have had them both. With uh, aim assist, I would have had both of them. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. Okay. Okay. One thing I don't like this model, so I'm just going to go to my locker and change my model. That would look cool if it was a guy. I don't like playing girls. I don't know why. I just, I don't like playing the girls. I think it looks stupid. Let's we'll change this to something cooler. This looks slightly cooler. We're good. Um, can we change this? I don't know what this is. I don't know. Can we keep it. What's this? I don't have any other, uh, they call them contrails, right? I don't have any others, so I'll just keep it. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Lobby, sorry, hitting the wrong, the wrong button. Okay, we're back in the lobby. Um, here we go. Yeah, really tough game without aim assist. In fact, I'm going to do enough recording. You're going to see how tough it is without aim assist. How much of a difference it makes. It really nerfs PC players. Like, you might as well not even play in an offensive way. Okay, so I thought I shut off um, 
music in the game. I'm going to double check in a minute. I don't like uh, game music when I'm playing. So this is just a waiting period. Anything you collect here, it doesn't count in the actual round. I could collect wood or weapons. It doesn't matter. You got to start over when you're in the map. Okay, again, we're going to go with our survival strategy so you can see how tough this game is on a PC as a 25-year veteran without an aimbot. <laughs> yeah, it's that tough. There we go. I'm just, I like to watch the back of the bus so I can see how many guys are jumping out because I don't want to jump near them because they're going to kill me right away like they always do. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm going. Okay, so now what I try and do is I try and spot where I think a gold chest will be. And I'm going to guess the center of this forest. It's a bit of a labyrinth or a maze. There's probably a gold chest there. And as I run through, I can collect wood and then just head to the center of the storm. That's what this game's about. For me, it's about survival. Maybe get a, another level or something. Okay, so we've got ammo. No chest. If there was a gold chest, I would be able to hear it. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I do have a piece of shit gun that I could use. Got a bunch of wood built up. Build up a bunch of wood. Oh, there's a gun. Good. Just sitting there. That's fine. Okay, I can hear a chest. There it is. Cool. Okay, so here's that, uh, wow, I got a gold weapon. Wow, okay, my third gold weapon in the entire game. I do have that instant build building from last round you saw, or last two rounds. So if I throw it, it instantly builds like a shelter, a cover for me. Uh, we're going to start heading in. Yep, let's start heading in. Um, you know, if I had an aimbot, I would be going after other players. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I would do. Um, let's get a bit more wood. They have brick and steel structures, but the wood structures build the fastest. And it's the easiest to collect. Um, you get experience for essentially everything you do. Like collecting this wood, you get experience. Uh, eating that mushroom, I get experience for that. Knocking down this tree, I get experience for that at the end. Um, and the higher I rank in the overall game, the more experience I get. So let's grab some more wood here. If you hit the, so when you hit a tree, a reticle will come up like this. Hit it. Hit the next one. That should be it. If you hit those reticles, the tree comes down a lot faster and you get more wood. That's the idea. So without an aim assist or aim bot, that gold weapon I have is basically useless. So, I already have that gun, that green gun there, I already have it, so we're going to look for the eye of the storm. Yeah, we're going to head around this mountain, just start heading in. Another thing with aim assist, these guys have been killing people at, you know, 45 yards with a shotgun, headshots. That's how effective it is. So if you check YouTube, you can really see how effective this aim assist in this game, how important it is. So as a PC gamer, uh, it's a cardinal sin. You should not use aimbot or aim assist in any way, shape, or form. 
But like I said, if everyone in a sport is using steroids and you're not, you're at the clear disadvantage and steroids have become, become the norm. In this case, uh, it's not steroids, it's aimbot. So. That sound is the storm coming in and we have a chest. Um, I get killed so fast with these aimbot garbage stuff that um, even having a med kit, a full med kit like that, do doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's how fast it happens. Um, I'd say one of the most important features of the game is the aim assist, the aim bot, which in hardcore FPS gaming is a sin. Yeah. But it brings the kids in. If you use it, the kids like to play. <laughs> they have a lot of fun. They can get a lot of kills. I can understand it. So I'm not begrudging the game. I'm just saying uh, if you're on a PC and you're attempting to play this game and you don't have aim assist, you are in trouble. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play our survival strategy. <laughs> we're gonna hide right over here. I should be close enough to the storm. Yeah, someone was up here. You can see their ladder. I got up there and got the chest. But I could hear a chest, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check, see if there is a chest there. I could hear a chest, I swear. No, I guess not. That's fine. So I don't like to walk out in the open because they can see me moving very easily if I do that. So I'm going to check our map. We're right around the middle. I should turn around, go the other way, closer to the middle, like this. Yeah, so if I head that way, my chances of survival are a lot higher. That's what we're going to do. Head that way. Uh, 44 people left in the game. Run, if you're on a ridge, run next to the ridge so it's less likely to get spotted. You're less likely to get spotted. Okay. I'm just taking a look around. Okay. Let's see how this storm progresses. Yeah. Okay, cool. Reload. Okay. Okay, good rate of fire. Good rate of fire. Not bad. Respectable. Okay, so there's 40 players left. Okay, if I turn around and I go in here somewhere, I'm going to run. I can crouch down in a building or something like this. I hear a gold chest. Oh wow, I'll never use this gun, so. Where's the gold chest? I can hear it. Okay, what is that that I just got? Some sort of uh, grenade. Another gold chest, wow. It's a good spot. I can hear another gold chest. Okay. 
Those are guys coming in. Those are the 10-year-olds the are coming. The 10-year-olds are coming. I got to be careful. So all this ammo and everything would really help me if I had an aimbot. It's on top. The gold chest is on the roof, guaranteed. This is going to be the eye of the storm. So if I can get up there, I can get another gold chest. You can't take the gold chest from the bottom because if you take out the floor that it's on, it will destroy the chest. So. Thirty-two players left in the game. I can hear the storm shrinking. Okay, where are we? We're right in the center. So, yeah. yeah. We're, I, this is where the fight's going to be. This is it. Um, so more players are going to start coming in now. I'm going to stay here. See if we can get in the top five if I hide it. <laughs> Have a babe. Need a babe. Okay. 26 players left. Half the field is gone. Or three quarters of the field is gone. I can hear rounds cooking off. So the, the fight is coming closer. If I can just stay here. If I see a guy, I'm going to use a silent weapon on him. I'm just kind of sitting here. Okay, I got to move over there. moving out in the open. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be hiding. I have to hide from the 10 year olds. <laughs> Just trying to get a uh, experience, you know, <laughs> and a little bit better ranking or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> a better level by surviving. We're in pretty good shape. I don't plan on winning any firefights. I've given up. I can survive, though. You can survive if you play our cards right here, boys. 13 players left. Okay. I am in the center, so the fight will be here. Take a look. Yes. This is the fight. They're all going to be here in a minute. Every one of them. can hear rocket launchers going off.
I'm not very far from the center. I should be able to hide. There's still 13 players left. I can hear someone. Here they come. The army of 10 year olds. They're building. I'm actually going to stay here in, as long as I can. Well, someone just got killed. So there's 12 players left. It's closer to the center over there. 10 players left. Yep, 10 players left comes down to one or two and I can use that special grenade somehow. <laughs> yeah, I can hear rounds cooking off. Let them fight it out. There's a guy. Fifth. As you can see, with no with no aimbot, there's no point in even fighting almost. I mean, these guys are hitting each other from across the map. That guy just, he trains his reticle on me. It goes on me, it goes on my head. That's what he just did there. See that headshot? See that headshot? Let's just watch these guys. See that? Here he comes. Yep. Wow. He's shooting from the hip, too. Look how effective this is, man. Not even aiming. He's just shooting from the hip with that aim assist on. And man, that's effective. Yeah, they don't even aim. Wow. I want to see the end of the round. We'll just record the end of the round, see what happens. Five players left. I think there's at least a team of two that I'm watching. Yeah, I want to see them use this aim assist with a sniper rifle off the hip, because that's what he's going to do. Watch. Wow. 
So at the end of the game, see they're building the forts up. What do they call it? Fortnite. That's your aim assist, man. See that reticle train right on them and follow them right through the map. Wow. Wow. Okay, I did get level 11. Um, did I get new items? Battle pass. Did I get new items? No. No new items. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, I do got rewards. Let's collect. I collected my rewards. So what did I get? A new banner icon. Okay. That's usually what you get. You get aesthetic items. Um, there's my banner. These are the banners I can choose. I just use, see, okay, so let's do that. We go color. I can make it yellow. See, those red, red, red's fine. Okay, so let's go to the lobby. Let's try again. We're going to go with our survival strategy again. This video is to demonstrate how, without an aimbot, how useless almost it is to play without it. It's like having a football team that is on steroids and a football team that is not on steroids and comparing the two. That's what we're doing. And this is why so many kids actually like the game, right? Is because they can come in and they can kill guys and get good scores and, and they really enjoy it. So, but it, uh, for hardcore gamers coming in to play the game, that is an issue for us, right? We don't have steroids. We're not on steroids. So I'm going to see how effectively I can play and how I can place with essentially not being able to kill people. we go coffee a little coffee okay so again I'm gonna play the exact same strategy and see how it goes try to get away from everybody collect some stuff stay away from the 10 year olds okay they forced me out okay I'm gonna go over here it looks like a castle or something to that effect from up here it looks like a castle top of this waterfall I guess it's just a village so it should be as long as these 10 year olds don't stalk me yeah there's a 10 year old oh shit get away from the 10 year olds man there's another one there fuck fucking little kids <laughs> So they maybe have the same strategy as, as me and get away from everybody. So I got to get out of here. I got to find a spot. It's most like I should have gone to where my team went. Find a spot to where I think there's a chest. Let's take a look at the storm. We're good. We're inside. So inside the zone. don't have a gun yet. I'm just running for my life. The little kids are coming. <laughs> I'm gonna run to the children. Let's go in here and see if we can get a gun. Okay, so at least we got a gun. There's two guns. And I can hear a chest. Probably upstairs. Probably in the attic. Let's go downstairs. Basement. There's a basement. I'm just trying to get some wood. I 
didn't get enough wood. Get up to the attic. That was a huge waste of time. There's no gold chest in here. Okay. Go up to the roof. Find a gold chest. I can hear a chest. I can hear it. Where is it? Okay, I think I gotta move soon. I think I can hear a chest. I can definitely hear the vibration of a chest. Let's try it out. There's no basement, so... Where are we? Yep. Go over here. Okay, how many? So, the game is half over. Half the guys are dead. I'm gonna head towards my teammate, get some material on the way. I think we're in good shape. My teammates are still alive, all of them actually. I have enough time. I'm going to go in there. I hear a gold chest. I can hear it. If I go in here, I can hear the chest. I can hear the, yeah, that's the humming of a gold chest. Oh well, no gold chest there.
Okay, I gotta get inside. This storm. It's up here. Thirty seven players left. Okay, what's going on? Okay, let's loot. There's your uh, firefight. That's how it works. Okay. We're going to go to the lobby. Go to the lobby. Okay. So, there's your Fortnite with no aim assist on a PC. So, there's almost no point at all of getting in a fight. If I had aim assist and the gun I had in that last round, right when I got killed, um, I would have no problem engaging all three of those guys. And you'll notice I even I even got a clip off in the one guy's head. Uh, there was a couple head shots, maybe heart shots, and nothing. I couldn't do anything after that because he just has to move side to side, and he did not miss a shot. None of those guys that killed me missed even once. Um, that's impossible in an FPS. <laughs> but uh, this this was my demonstration of how important how important aim assist is for Fortnite. Very important. Um, a lot of these kids wouldn't be playing. It wouldn't be as fun. So I'm not going to begrudge them. But what we are going to do here at the gig, because we're all things tech, um, the next the next uh, how would you say streams or, or recording game recordings? I'm going to show you. This was my demonstration. No aimbot. The next set of recordings, I'm going to have the aim assist on, on the PC with a mouse and keyboard. Then you're going to be able to see the real difference in how important aim assist is and how much of a difference it is between having it and not having it. I've seen some videos on YouTube. It is night and day. And these guys with mouse and keyboard playing with aim assist on here are crushing it. Crushing it. I saw a guy, you know, seven, eight headshots in a row. Um, didn't miss a shot. It was unbelievable. And and um, so we're going to try it. So there's, there's your demonstration, a complete demonstration of how the game is played without aim assist on a PC. Very difficult. Next time we come in, we're gonna... Subscriptions down below, arguments down below, questions, comments. I'll get to your questions, I'll get to your comments if I like them. If I don't, forget it. I'll just ignore you.